Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out a trailer that is a show that I'm pretty excited for because of a multitude of reasons. I recently watched Avatar The Last Airbender last year on our Patreon. Go over there and check out the full length reactions if you want to. I might bring them to the channel at some point in time. It's a lot of editing. Casey loved this show mm -hmm. as a child and she grew up with it and I think this is kind of weird to equate it to, but the hype and how good One Piece was, like the live action adaptation, is giving me hope for this show. Yeah, especially because it's Netflix also, and they already showed us that they could do One Piece very well. Have the capability. Yeah, even though we had never seen the One Piece anime, but we really did enjoy the live action. And a lot of people who were fans of the anime and the manga did as well. Yeah, they said it was very well done. Now, from Avatar's perspective, we both have seen the source material. I grew up watching it, like Anthony said, as a kid, and then later as an adult, I went back and rewatched it, and it almost enhanced my experience because of the nostalgia and then just reliving it again was so much fun. I love this show so much. I think a lot of people who like this show, it's near and dear to their hearts, and the characters mean a lot to them. And yeah. Anthony and I are both Zuko stands. Zuko and Iroh, which I will say, <laughs> it's funny because I watched that on Patreon alone, so yeah. Casey wasn't there giving like her two cents of how she felt about these characters and it's funny how I had the exact same affinity for the exact same characters that Casey did so it makes me wonder if that was just like a natural thing for most fans but yeah I'm really gonna be looking at the casting of Zuko and Iroh because those two characters were my favorite characters of the entire series Iroh I remember I saw pictures like stills of like some of the casting of these characters from the live-action and I think Iroh was in The Mandalorian and Ahsoka. He had like a smaller role. He was like the character who flew the X-Wing, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not familiar with the person who was cast for Zuko. Either way, I'm really excited to see, you know, based off this trailer, how, what's the hype level, you know? Yeah. Because it's hard to like base it off of just, you know, stills, like right. pictures, but I feel if this is well done, there's gonna be even more hype leading up yeah. to the show, which the show comes out in February, which is really soon, on all honesty. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you can't fully tell sometimes by trailers, but it does give you a big picture mm -hmm. to what to expect, and I know a lot of people are probably really excited for this, hoping that we get another One Piece yeah. type live action adaptation. I really hope so, because I, I feel like if it's done well, this show could be super special to a lot of people who maybe never watched it because they're just not that into animation. Mm -hmm. So it could be fun, it's gonna be fun, I'm excited. Now this show is interesting because it has had a live action adaptation before, which this is really funny for me to say. I saw that live action adaptation when it first came out. I knew nothing of Avatar The Last Airbender going into it. I think I watched it with like a high school ex-girlfriend. I really wasn't into it. And it's funny because what I've learned after that was that everyone hates it. And it had, n it was like nothing like the show and I don't remember it, so... And they call him Ong. Ong? Is that what... Did I they? think so. I never even saw it. And I okay. just know they did that. Maybe we'll watch it for this channel, because I don't remember it. And Casey's never seen it. I haven't seen it. But I've seen, like, certain stills and just, like, little clips. But, mm -hmm. like, I've never actually sat down and watched the entire movie, because I know a lot of people say it's not good. <laughs> but maybe we could watch it. If we're talking about it. For fun. Live action adaptations. I guess my other thing that I would go to before seeing One Piece was the Death Note Netflix yeah. adaptation, <laughs> which was horrendous. <laughs> Netflix has definitely come a long way. I mean, we're basing that off of One Piece, so we'll I mean, see. they have a long leash right now. Right. But I mean, that lease could be shortened, you know, but, like, I mean, depending you would, on what they give us. You would think, from the studio's perspective, they don't want to disappoint people again, especially since One Piece was so successful. They're going to yeah. want to keep putting effort into what they're doing to make it really, really good, and hopefully, kind of stay more true to the source yeah. material. I'll play devil's advocate just for the sake of it, but this show I think was in production the same time as One Piece, so I feel like that will be the case for a lot of live action adap anime adaptations going forward after One Piece, but you know, do the people who made this show have the same desire to make a live action adaptation that is true to the original that's gonna get like the fandom like really hyped for yeah. it and really enjoy it i don't know i mean i would hope so because i feel like if you're working on this project you're very passionate about it i think a sign of a good live action adaptation and these are just like my own little personal things i'm not basing it off of anything but i think it's something that can appeal to new fans mm. and that can also almost like honor the old fans in a way that kind of yeah. sounds weird but no i, I get you that. know like it's just like okay 
the old fans of the original source material can find some new enjoyment in it and just like have a little bit of nostalgia and like have a great time watching it and then new fans can come in discover this world and be like wow I, I get it without necessarily needing to watch the source material mm -hmm. Um, but then the people who have seen it, it's just like you get something it extra. Them. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that was the case for One Piece. I know we keep bringing up One Piece, but that is like our most recent, like, what's in our memory yeah. of live action adaptations. But for us, One Piece was a show that was over a thousand episodes in the anime we, that it was yeah. just seemed very daunting to daunting. get into. But like that, with the live action, it kind of gave us a jumping on point that wasn't as right. daunting. You know, we just got to get through the season. But I mean, it's not like get through the season, that sounds negative, but like a starting point, well, it's we loved like, One it, Piece. It gives you like an introduction that mm -hmm. doesn't seem so overwhelming, and then you're like, oh wait, I actually really dig this world. Well, the funny thing about One Piece too is that like, it made us want to watch the anime. We haven't yet, yeah. but I mean, the fact that it was like that good, and hearing through the grapevine all the people who love the anime yeah, saying like, that it was really good a too. good adaptation, yeah. it made me even think that even more so, because I was like, okay, maybe we should check it out. I'm kind of conflicted with it, because I don't want to get spoiled necessarily for the live action, so I'm still debating that in my head. But anyway, Avatar The Last Airbender, let's check it out. Is that supposed to be Sozin's Comet? Time. Time is a funny thing. Oh. The past. <gasps> I mean, so far wow. so good, right? Is Katara and Sokka? Earth Kingdom? It all gets There's no war in Bossing Say. <gasps> Zuko! I got so excited. The hair. <laughs> Iroh! There's only one way. To keep it straight. Suki! Oh my gosh, I love the Kiyoshi Warriors. Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta see Aang. Aw, oh, look at them together, Aww. off on their own. I got a little chill. I got some goosebumps. I think it was the music. Ooh, it was just such a little teaser. Yeah. It's definitely got the production yeah. value. You can tell. Like, it doesn't look like it was, uh... They didn't save dollars, like, with, right. like, the VFX and stuff of that nature. Um, not a whole lot besides just, like, little snippets of scenes and stuff. The like scenery said, looked really good, though. Yeah. Like, it's a teaser, the, so I wasn't expecting yeah. like something like well, you know, course, super drastic. Yeah, but I think it looks, I think it from looks what we saw, pretty promising. Mm -hmm. The casting looks really good. I'm mm -hmm. glad that Aang is actually like a kid. Yeah. Because I think, I mean, like, obviously it's going to depend. We haven't seen him actually talk and, and su like speak fully yet. But he, you can kind of tell he might have the attitude that Aang needs to have, which is kind of like super happy-go-lucky mm. kid, but then when things get serious, he gets serious too, to an extent. Yeah. I wonder how long, what point we're going to carry the first season of the show up to. Like, is it going to cover the entire first season? Yeah. Because Avatar was three seasons, if I'm not mistaken, but I can't remember how many episodes. I know a lot of anime or animated shows are like around 20 or so episodes. It might be around that. It might be a little bit less, but you could almost probably fit if this is like eight to 10 episodes, that entire story into eight to 10, like hour long, 45 minute long episodes too, because just based off the time, um, it's gonna be interesting to see like what they include and what they don't include from the animated mm -hmm. version, if they enhance anything. I know some people, not to bring up One Piece again, but some people said that there were things that happened in the One Piece live action that didn't happen in the animated show. So it makes me wonder, like, you know, we were talking about maybe enriching the story, if there's gonna be any examples of that that happens too. Yeah, I mean, you can't really expect them to hit every single thing that happens, because mm -hmm. there's just no way, unless they were literally adapting, <laughs> like, scene for scene. scene for scene, a whole entire series. 
like that way, but like that's just not really feasible for live action. So mm -hmm. they're gonna have to condense some things and some storylines. So yeah. that's always kind of like, okay, what's gonna happen there? But I do think the Kiyoshi Warriors they look looked good. really, really good. That's like yeah. the thing that really stood out to me. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that stood out to me, but I'm probably gonna have to go back and watch it again and like really look at everything. But I don't know, I'm excited about it. Yeah. I think it looks good. There's a lot of beats I feel like that they're gonna have to hit when we get to certain scenes. Obviously, Sok Sokka's like kind of goofy aloofness yeah, yeah. a little bit, that's gonna have to hit. Yeah. Aang, like what you were saying, needs to be kind of playful, like kind of always like kind of kid. joking a little bit, yeah. but also like you said, kind of taking it seriously. But what I think is the most important, especially with this first season, is to see that relationship between Iroh and Zuko. Because yes. those were some of my favorite moments when we were just off with Iroh and Zuko by themselves to Which, kind of see that like yeah. fatherly kind of feel to the whole situation, their their, their relationship. I thought was my favorite part. So they're really gonna have to nail that. I'm really excited about Iroh's casting. I thought he looked really, really mm -hmm. good. I'm pretty sure that little firefight that we had there too was between Zuko and his father. So that's probably gonna be like the, the backstory about like his burn in that particular scene. You know, also I think we said, I may have said Ba Sing Se, but that may be where we meet Boomy's Boomy. character. Where he, they like go down those little, the little like- shoots when they were like Yeah, in those things. Young. Yeah. That might have been it. I mean, they're both in the Earth Kingdom. Bossing say though, they might save it for the show. Second show season. that's gonna be like a really fun time. Well, that was if we go to Bossing say. I'm pretty sure that was like the predominant storyline of the second season. Yeah. So, so we might not necessarily de depending on how far we right. get in the show. Which another thing that we haven't talked about is Toph. Yeah. Like I, I feel like that's probably gonna be set up for the end of the season. Right. And they're probably gonna tease yeah. her character for the second season. Yeah. If I had to guess, this is just my head cannon. It also is going to be interesting, I think this is something that we didn't really get to fully, fully see yet in this teaser, but how they use their powers, how that looks. Oh yeah, yeah, because, sure. Besides the fire, yeah. Right, besides the fire, like, we're going to get to see how the airbending and waterbending actually looks, mm -hmm. but I think if they make it look as good as the fire, it'll look really good. Yeah, I'm also... The air, I know a lot of that could just be like, you know, Yeah, because it's like, how do you but, like show air, but maybe like a wind? But when Aang does this little thing, when he's like riding oh, it, yeah, if they do that, wall. like I'm interested to see the animation for right. that particular, like, yeah. I don't know, move. <laughs> but I mean, like, like we keep talking about freaking One Piece, sorry, but. <laughs> but the like, stretchiness. They like did that very well though. Yeah. The powers there, like it, it looked good. And the thing about Avatar is it's kind of has a little bit of like, childish elements not in the bad way but like you know it's kind of like because you're growing up with these with kids, the kids yeah. so it it can come across a little bit like oh comical like very anime-esque mm -hmm. um but not in a negative way so i think that they could definitely hit it in more of like a whimsical type atmosphere yeah i feel like you know because of like the fact that you're following these kids in this war you know they yeah. they come at it with um a sunny disposition, a slightly or sunny disposition right. than you would be like a seasoned adult that right. has been gone through, which we we do experience characters like that in the animated show as well too. And you know, they eventually go through things, not to say that they haven't gone through some shit or didn't go through right. some shit in the animated show, but they always kind of kept that sunny disposition. So yeah, it'll be really interesting to see if they kind of mimic that as well. All right, y'all, well, let us know what you think about this trailer. Are you excited the for this show? Do you have any ideas or thoughts? Let us know, you think Netflix is literally on their way to actually making really, really good live action anime adaptations consistently. That'd be super awesome I that mean, we could like rely on Netflix. If like, they Ooh, banger. hit this, I feel like they're gonna be looked at as like the standard studio right. to make live action adaptations. If this one hits, what would be your dream live action anime adaptation or just like animated show adaptation? Well, I think the next one that I remember hearing about is that they're making a My Hero, which that one in my that's, mind, I love My Hero, but that's difficult in my mind. That's because there's so many like quirks. Yeah. Well, literally quirks. <laughs> yeah. But I also, if I'm not mistaken, think that they're doing that as a movie. That's not a show that Ooh. could be done as a movie. We'll see. We'll a series see. of we'll movies, see. maybe. <laughs> and I think after the Dunder Brothers are done with Stranger Things, the rumor out there is that they're doing a live action Death Note. That could be really, really good. That's a show that doesn't necessarily need probably as much VFX, mm -hmm. besides Ryuk. 
but and then the Shinigami realm. Yeah. There's there is some, but, but I'm it's trying a lot to more like, grounded in reality. Yeah, so I feel like that's more of like a like a thriller. That one's really gonna need to have really good adult, well, teenage actors, but they could be adults playing yeah. teenagers and whatnot. But um, there's a lot of hope out there. Yeah, it's like the it's once they hit One Piece, it's almost like opened this new world of mm. possibilities. That we're like, oh wait, they can actually do it. And I know that there's probably been, and I think some of y'all have said that there's been really good Japanese live at, at yeah, yeah. live action adaptations. So, I mean, we know it can be done, and now we have One Piece. But we're going to be doing reactions to this show in February, episode by episode, so make sure you're subscribed for that, and we'll see you then! Bye.